Hello everybody, this is Mackerel Phones. Today I am playing Journal. This game, uh, I believe is something of a passion project made by some individual. Truthfully, I don't know that much about its development, but I do know that much. Now, I admit I'm under the impression that it might have some problems, but I'm interested in these kinds of games. So, let's see what it has in store for us. How do I select? There we go. I've kept a journal for as long as I can remember. I used it to chronicle my every thought and dream. Until the day I opened it to find it completely blank. Oh. This doesn't look completely blank to me. Interesting, it's like a side-scroller. Oh. This is pretty blank. I suppose that would be rather shocking. Oh, are you mom? Or are you another female relative? I feel like there's something up with my mother lately. She always means well, but something's off. It's just a feeling. Okay. Hi, sweetie. Hey, Mum. Did you need me for something? Yeah, about the journal. Did you do something to my journal? Do something? You mean you can't find it? No, the pages are all blank. I haven't touched it, sweetie. You know I wouldn't snoop. Well, somebody's been snooping. Pages don't just go blank on their own, you know. I don't know what to say, honey. You're sure you didn't do anything? Let's not argue about this, honey. I haven't even seen it. Those are your private thoughts. If something's happened to your journal, it wasn't something I did. I just don't understand it. Try not to worry about it too much, hon. I'll try, but I'm always here to help. Who's Elena? Have you seen Elena recently? I thought you were supposed to be seeing her today. Is something the matter between you two? I totally forgot. No, nothing's wrong. That's good. Elena's a nice girl. She needs a good friend like you to bring her out of her shell a little bit. Why do you say that? She just seems a bit quiet. Does she have many friends at school? I can be insensitive about it, or kind. I suppose I'll be kind. Not really. I don't know why. We get along well enough. She's just shy. I'm sure you can help her make friends with the other boys and girls. Yeah, I'll try. That's my girl. You're a good friend, sweetie. Thanks, Mum. Sometimes I worry about Eleanor being too shy. It makes things difficult, especially at school. But she's still my friend. Whoa! 
Wait a minute, is that like a jump? It is a jump. Can we not look at that strange wobbling painting? Suppose not. Well, at least we're friendly to our friend. Oh. Well, there's our house. We can go down the street or we can go to the park. I don't know where we're supposed to meet Elena. I don't want to let her down, though. Let's take a look at the park. Oh, a leaf fell from the tree. How pretty. Oh, it's a fellow with a rake. John's a friend of the family, but he hasn't been around much lately. He works nearby, but there was a time he visited my parents and me often. Hey, John. Long time no see. How have you been? I'm all right. Busy with school? Something like that. Chin up. You know what they say. Your school years are supposed to be the best years of your life. Enjoy them while you can. Nah. No, they're not. Don't listen to him. Yeah, I guess. Things have just been weird lately. Oh? What's up? Did something happen with you and my mum? I don't know what you mean. Did she say something? No, it's not that. It's just that we haven't seen you in ages. Oh, well. Things are complicated. I don't really understand. Perhaps because they're complicated. Neither do I, to be honest. See? Uh, you're not answering my question. You always do this. Do what? Just make jokes and avoid the subject. I asked because I wanted to know the answer. Sometimes there isn't an answer, and sometimes there just isn't a good one. I try to look on the brighter side of life. So there is something wrong after all. That's not what I meant. People grow apart sometimes. You'll understand that when you're older. You're right. That's not a good answer. I've been thinking about how John doesn't visit anymore, and I tried to ask him about it. He didn't really give me an answer, so I didn't push the subject. I'm glad we talked anyway. Maybe I'll see you later. You bet. I'll be here. Man, is my voice not appropriate for a little... Well, I admit I'm not quite sure whether she's British or Australian or New Zealander. I understand these accents sound very different to people, but, you know, I, I don't recognize them. Oh. They pinned a post-it note on that page, so we can't go any further into the park of floating trees. The way the sky is drawn here makes it look as if it is raining. But I don't think it's raining. Oh! Must be Elena. She doesn't have a face either. I've known Elena since we moved to the area. She was my first friend round here, and I think I was probably hers, too. We had each other, and that's never changed. But even once I started to make other friends, she didn't. Hey, there you are. Did something happen? I'm sorry, I got caught up in other things. Oh, well, that's okay. I didn't have any other plans. You know, something weird has happened to my journal. I didn't know you had a journal, like a diary? Yeah, I write in it every day. But something's happened to it. I've lost everything. You mean you misplaced it? No, I have the book, but the pages are blank. That's really weird. Who do you think did it? I don't know. My mum knows where my journal is, but I don't know why she'd mess with it. I always tell her not to touch it. If she did, I guess there must have been some reason for it. What kind of reason could she have? My journal's private. It wouldn't even mean anything to anyone else. Don't ask me. But who else could have done something to it if not you? Let's take John's advice. Be optimistic. If I thought we... I thought if we put our heads together, we might come up with something. Who else knew you had a journal? Only a couple of people. My mother, John. John, the park keeper? Yeah, I told him about it before, but I don't think it's him. He hasn't visited us for a while. That doesn't leave us many options. Nope. Thanks anyway, Elena. I'll think about it. Elena and I tried to work out what might have happened to my journal. 
She's good at setting things out logically, even if we didn't get anywhere. Suppose we should apologize for our lateness. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. It's all right. I don't have anything else to do. It won't happen again. How late am I? I can't remember what time we were supposed to meet. It really doesn't matter. Oh, I'm really late. Oh, only an hour or so. It's really not a problem. An hour? I'm sorry. Elena, I, I won't forget next time, I promise. What have you been up to? Nothing, really. Nothing at all? You know, just homework. I have lots... I have loads to do. Everyone has loads to do. You just put more effort in than we do. It's better than getting into trouble. Besides, I don't mind it. Most of it is interesting. Even history? That's the most interesting one! Yeah, you know I like history. Yeah, I know. I still think you're crazy. You just- you don't get it. You have a bad teacher is your problem. See you later, Elena. I'm surprised we're not gonna go out and get coffee with her or something. We're probably a little young for getting coffee. I don't really know what kids did in elementary school. They got coffee in, you know, middle school. I certainly never got coffee, though. Because I don't like coffee. You're still there. I'm gonna be here for a little bit longer. It's better than being at home. So why did you want to meet up? I just wanted to get out of the house. I didn't want to be around to get shouted at some more. Why would you be shouted at? What happened? You know one of the widow... You know one of the windows at school got broken, right? Yeah, I saw it. They put a board over it now. Well, someone's been spreading rumors about it. About me. What kind of rumors? <clears throat> They're saying I broke the window. Yeah, I mean, what, what what else did you expect the rumors about her in the window to be, Elena? Or, I'm sorry, not Elena, you're our narrator. Do you know what actually happened to it? No? How would I? I didn't do it. I didn't even know it was broken. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the kind of thing you do. I would never. I'm glad you believe me. I don't know why my parents don't. How did your parents find out? I think the park keeper told them. Why would he do that? I guess he heard the rumors too. Have you told him you didn't do it? I probably should, but what if he shouts at me too? He wouldn't do that. John's a nice guy. If you say so. He's probably mad at me. I can talk to him for you if you want. Would you? Yeah, of course. Thanks. I've been so upset about this whole thing. Eleanor's upset because of a rumor that she broke a window at school. She says she didn't do it, but John already told her parents that it was her. That is indeed what the conversation just said. See you later, Elena. Let's go see John. It's kind of weird that elementary school rumors would go to the park keeper. Maybe it's a very small town. Maybe it's like that in some small towns. I don't really know. Hi, Mr. Crow. What's up? I just saw Elena. She's really upset. Oh, really? Did you two have a falling out? No, nothing like that. Well, that's good. So what happened? Is there something I can help you out with? She says her parents are mad at her because they think she broke one of the school windows. Oh, right. Poor Elena. I hope she's all right. It's not pleasant feeling like someone's disappointed in you. But she says she didn't do it. She told you that? Yeah, she's convinced that someone else is spreading rumors about her. I thought you knew that she'd done it. I thought you knew that she'd done it. How would I know? You were the one who told me so. I told you? Why would I tell you she'd done it? I thought you said you'd seen her do it. I don't remember saying that. Well, you did see her do it, or didn't you? 
If you think you might be wrong, you'd better say now. Uh, I'm not sure. Perhaps you ought to have a careful think about it. You don't want Elena to be in trouble for no reason, do you? No, of course not. I'm glad we talked anyway. Maybe I'll see you later. You bet. I'll be here. That's kind of strange. Looks like we fell down from the stairs. Hey, wait a minute. I get it. That sun is like a coffee cup stain. Or it's probably tea. You're still here? I'm going to stay here for a little while longer. It's better than being at home. I spoke to John. What did he say? Is he mad at me too? No, he's not mad, but... But what? Oh no, am I in even more trouble? Is he going to tell the school? He was just concerned about you. But I didn't do it! Why does he think it was me? I'll, I'll give you a straight dope. Somebody else told him you did it. It's not quite the straight dope. Who would do that? Actually, he said, I told him you did it. That's a straight dope. What? Why? Did you tell him it was me? I don't remember. Maybe I did. You did it, didn't you? You broke that window and blamed it on me. I thought you were my friend. Well, di well, I don't really know if we did it or not. I wasn't there, you see. But... Um... Look, let's just put this behind us. It's just a, just a window. So what? It's not a big deal. It'll get repaired. But I got into trouble for something you did! I didn't know your parents would freak out. John asked me about the window. I just didn't want him to think I did it. I wasn't thinking. Eleanor overreacted about me telling John she'd broken the window. It's not as bad as she thinks it is, but she's really upset. Thanks for the recap. I can't believe you've done this to me. Um... Well, I mean, you're like... I mean, I don't... I suppose we have other friends, but I don't want to lose you. You've been our, you've been our friend longer than anybody else has. And besides, friends don't start drifting apart till high school. I'm sorry. I really am. But I wasn't going to take the blame for something I didn't do either. I don't want to talk to you right now. Just leave me alone. We didn't leave things well after speaking about the window. Eleanor didn't want to talk about it anymore. And in a way, I was glad. Well, Elena, you're still here. Well, sorry, Elena. What the? Oh, mail's here. Can we get the mail? No, can't get the mail. Oh, but our mail is here too. Wait a minute. What the? Are those the pages of our journal? Magical realism. The Girl and the Roller Coaster. Once there was a great traveling carnival, renowned for its splendor across all the land. Where they traveled, they brought with them the strangest and most wonderful sights. The Big Top held some of the most talented circus performers who had ever lived. For the thrill seekers, of course, so much of this magic was just the backdrop for the rides. It was the rides that the girl cared about above all else. Each year she returned, the ride seemed even more exciting. No more so than the year she was finally tall enough to ride the roller coaster. In her mind, she had built it up to something almost unreal, yet wonderfully it did not disappoint. As she got older, life got more complicated until one year she was so wrapped up in life that she decided not to go. It was months before she realised how a part of her felt empty at having missed it, a sense of loss she couldn't explain. However, the carnival never returned. Her mother told her perhaps it closed down. Carnivals were no longer so impressive in this day and age. For some reason she blamed herself, as if somehow it was her fault they were gone. It had been so important to her. Why had she let it go? Hmm. 
that is not the thing that I expected to happen. So we have a little puppet theater. Okay. Bouncy, bouncy. Let's, let's go. Oh, there you are. Were you looking for me? I had a phone call for Mrs. Martin earlier. My math teacher? Why? She didn't say. She was calling to see if she could have a word with you. I guess I'll go and see her later. Don't forget, honey. I won't, Mum. About Elena. Oh, yes. Are you seeing her today? Maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, tell her hi for me if you see her. Yeah, I'll do that. She's always welcome to come over. You're not gonna tell your mum? You're not gonna ask your mum for motherly advice? I mean, you can talk to her now. What do you want? Come on, he's still mad at me. It's hard not to be mad at you after what you did. I said I was sorry. Did you? Look, let's just forget about it, yeah? That's easy for you to say. Nobody's mad at you. I just wanted to chat, that's all. Okay. Man, you know... So, I'm so, sorry about this. About this, Elena. It's all kind of embarrassing, honestly. How do you think you did on the maths test the other day? I don't know. I studied really hard. I hope I passed. Me too. I don't think you even studied for it, did you? I'm not great at maths, you know that. Yeah. Well, good luck anyway. Thanks. You too. Oh, that reminds me. Mrs. Martin was looking for you earlier. I told her I hadn't seen you yet. She was? Did she say what it was about? No, I didn't ask. All right. Well, thanks for telling me anyway. I guess I'll go see her in a bit. Okay. Actually, I guess I'd better go. I'll see you later, okay? Cheer up. I'll try. Sorry, I, I just... I just need some time. Let's not break any more windows. This is a very run-down looking school. Oh. Uh, hello there, other student. You look a lot older. And maybe we're middle schoolers. I wish I knew Keith better, but he doesn't talk much about himself. He works really hard, but everyone still likes him. What's up, Keith? Not much. Looking forward to getting home later, actually. I think everyone's looking forward to going home. Yeah, but I've got this bike I'm working on, and I just feel like I could be getting so much more done if I were there. A bike? That's so cool. <laughs> yeah. It's just a project. I'm trying to restore it. It should be really nice when I'm done. I don't really know anything about motorbikes. Eh, they're just like any other machine, really, once you know what the parts do and where they go. But how did you know it was a motorbike? Whatever. Do... How do you know all this stuff? The motorbike was my father's. That's why I want to restore it. It's something me and my brother do together. I'd love to see it when it's done. <laughs> maybe. It's gonna take us a long time yet. Are you going to write it when it's finished? I'm not sure. It's kind of special. A classic. I want to keep it nice once it's all restored. Well, let me know when you get it fixed. I bet it'll be great. Now, I haven't commented on it, but I really like your beret. It looks good on that uh, faceless head. Have you spoken to Catherine much recently? Yeah, kinda. She borrowed one of my books a while ago, but she hasn't given it back yet. I could ask her about it for you. It's okay. I'm sure she'll give it back when she's read it. I'm just not sure she even wants to read it. Well, why did she ask you for it if she wasn't interested in reading it? I don't know. She saw me reading it and asked to borrow it afterwards. This isn't the first time. You mean she's borrowed stuff from you before? Yeah, and it's always difficult to get it back. I should learn to stop lending her things. Maybe she's just interested in the same stuff as you. I think it's more like she wants to be interested in whatever I like. Maybe. That's typical Catherine. You mean she's up to something? Well, clearly, yeah. I guess she does that with all the guys she likes. 
I don't really know if she's my type. What is your type? I don't know. I mean, Catherine's really pretty and all. You don't know? Hey, this is kind of embarrassing. Can we talk about something else? It's not surprising that Catherine's been all over Keith. If they got together, the whole school would be talking about it. Nice talking, Keith. Yeah, catch you later. That's so awkward. Also, we're not an elementary school student. What am I saying? Look at her. You know, she, she, she's a little... She's a little too developed for an elementary school student. And these guys here look so much older than her. Maybe she's just short. There are a lot of short people, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's always something going on with Trevor. He's always in trouble for something. It's almost as if he enjoys it. Hey, Trevor. Oh, hey, it's you. Comet? Oh, is he a cartoonist? So how's your comic coming along? Can I read it yet? He's a man after my own heart. Heh. <sighs> no, it's not quite ready for reading. Oh, come on. You've been working on it for ages. I know. I've got loads of great sketches, but I'm not great at writing. Yeah, that's a really important part of making a comic. What's it about? I haven't really got it all figured out yet. So, you don't know what it's about? Of course I do. It's just sort of embarrassing talking about it. It seems interesting enough to me. I don't really read comics. Well, maybe I'll show it to you later, when I've drawn some of it. Cool. I'd like that. I've always been envious of Trevor's ability to draw. I wish I had a talent like that. I guess I should go. Okay, see you later, maybe? Sure. Maybe. There's a... Oh, bandages are blocking our path now. Well, um... It seems like you know how to draw. I mean, you drew this journal we're reading here. Or, this isn't a journal, really. It's just drawings. Oh, is that Catherine? Man, we are so much shorter than everybody else. Or, I guess we're about the same height. It's just that we're lower. We're not that much shorter. I've always envied Catherine a little bit. She's beautiful and popular, and even though she's not that smart, almost everyone likes her. You know, it's kind of interesting. When I was in high school, I never, ever perceived any kind of, like, popularity hierarchy, even though it seems to be so dominant in portrayals of high school and media. Hey, Catherine, what's up? Hey, you seen Anne today? She's running around like a headless chicken. Did you do something? No, why would I bother? Well, first let's ask what's going on with Anne. Maybe we should stop teasing Anne for a bit. Are you serious? You're not backing out now, are you? I just think maybe it's not that fun anymore. Oh, come on, don't be... Don't being so serious. We're just playing with her a bit. She needs to lighten up. I don't think she likes it much. Since when were you her best friend? I'm not. I didn't say I liked her, just... Hey, nobody does, do they? She's just such a little bookworm. Like right now, she's having a tantrum about her notes again. Like, I mean, let's not be so hard on this person. I... Person, I, I mean... You know, she, she's clearly stressed out enough with her schoolwork. She just takes studying really seriously, I guess. You guess? It's like life and death with her. She gets good grades, though. Of course she does! If she studied that much and still failed, there'd have to be something wrong with her. I don't know why I go along with Catherine messing Anne around so much. That's not so bad, really. Ah, uh, we often end up going on, uh, you know, along with people we shouldn't. And we don't understand why. I think Keith wants his book back. What book? He said you borrowed one from him and didn't give it back. Oh, yeah. Hey, wanna know a secret? You didn't read it, did you? Nope, why would I? I don't even remember what it was about. So why did you borrow it? You could learn a thing or two from me, you know. You should try it out with Trevor. I know you think Trevor likes me, but... What's there to think about? Only you would notice something like that. Yeah, well, I think Keith just wants his book back. Fine. I guess I'll dig it out. Um, I'm a little... Why are we the only one who's not wearing a school uniform? And surely we're in violation of dress code. Well, the whole thing is a kind of dreamlike quality, so it doesn't need... It's fine. Oh, it's the same conversation. 
See you later, Catherine. Yeah, whatever. I don't like Catherine very much. Don't get me wrong, she looks great in that skirt, but it's, you know, there's a lot. There's more important things to a person. Staff room, class one, class two, and class three. It's chained off. That's a bit ominous. Oh, are you, uh, Mrs. Martin? Or Ms. Martin? Mrs. Martin is a good teacher. She can be strict, but she hasn't forgotten what it's like to be a kid. Those are good teachers. There you are! I've been trying to get hold of you all morning! Sorry, I'm here now. You wanted to see me? Yes, I did. Tell me, how are things at home? Why do you ask? Just checking up. It's been a while since I saw your parents. Things are fine. Actually, I wanted to talk to you about the maths test you took the other day. Did I fail? I don't have to retake it, do I? Uh, not exactly. Tell me, did you know that your answers were exactly the same as another student's? Well, neither of these really are the thing to do. Listen, just don't cheat, okay? I never understood that. Don't... Just don't freaking cheat. It's not, it's not hard to understand. It's very simple to understand. Do you think I cheated on the test? If it wasn't you, someone else did. Are you telling me these are definitely your own answers? Who else had the same answers as me? Catherine, I know you two are friends. Perhaps you'd like to talk to each other about what happened. All right, I'll ask her. Thank you. Don't forget. She knew something was suspicious about the test, but I didn't know what to tell her. Based on what's going on so... so far, um... I expect that we did cheat, because we keep misbehaving. Will I have to take the test again? That depends on how all this happened. If you or Catherine were cheating, one of you will have to retake the test. The same one? I can't really say at the moment. Well, why don't you go and have a chat with Catherine and come back to me later? I'll ask her about it. I would have done anything to pass the math test. The last thing I wanted to do was have to take it again. I really can't relate to that experience. I have never cheated or done poorly on a test. Well, that's not true. I think there was one test I didn't do well on. It's sort of st wait, hold on, there's someone in here. Well, that must be, uh, that must be Anne. It's sort of strange how they seem to be high schoolers, but there's these sort of elementary school noises in the background. They're a little ominous, honestly. Anne's always been a really good student, and that's never changed. She's really smart, but she takes things so seriously that some people tease her for it. Including you, apparently. Don't worry, she'll make some friends in high school. That's what happened to kids like her, uh, you know, in my school system. Hey, Anne. What are you up to? Oh, hi. I'm looking for my geography notes. You haven't seen them, have you? No, sorry. Have you seen Catherine today? Yeah, she's here somewhere. Why? Oh, no reason. I don't know why you're asking me. I try to avoid her as much as I can. I thought everyone liked Catherine. I don't know why she's so popular. You don't like her? Not really. Why do you like her? She's really pretty and popular. Who knows, she'll probably be a model or something once she leaves school. That's not a good reason to be friends with her. You just don't know her very well. I I'm not sure you do either. Wow, that's pretty intense. Listen, I'm sorry about the other day. About what? You know, about what was written on the board in our classroom. That was you? Yeah, well, I mean, I was dared to do it, but I didn't mean it. No, oh, okay. I didn't mean to pick on you. You just don't hang out with us much, so, so it's sort of easier, I suppose. Who dared you to do it? Catherine did, but she didn't mean it either, I'm sure. Well, I'm glad it wasn't Keith. Why do you say that? 
it doesn't matter. Look, I shouldn't have said anything. Has Keith been mean to you? No, not at all. At least I don't think so. Uh, has he said anything about me to you? Like what? I, I don't know anything. Well, I don't think he has said anything, actually. Not to me. Oh, well, never mind then, I guess. Forget I asked. You, you're sure nothing's wrong? Yeah. Uh, please don't tell him I asked, okay? Okay. I won't. Anne's never really shown any interest in boys in our class before. Her asking about Keith came out of the blue. Man, she she totally is crushed on Keith. That's that's not quite adorable, but it's something. Just had to do my my jumping around. Hey there, Anne. Or wait, you're not Anne at all. You're Catherine. Anne is the is the unpopular one. What is it? You know that maths test we had? Yeah, what about it? Did you fail or something? Uh, no. Well, I don't know. But what did you do with those answers I gave you? What do you mean, what did I do? I used them, of course. That was the whole point. You didn't change them at all. You just used them exactly how they were. Well, yeah, those were the answers. Why did I change them? Honestly, I don't get you. What is this even about? I mean, if it's a math test, there's only one answer. I think you've gotten us both into trouble. Me? It was your idea to share the answers around. You were supposed to change the answers a little bit, so it wasn't obvious we knew what to write. You didn't say that to me at the time. I thought it was obvious. Maybe you know all about the unwritten rules of cheating, but I don't have time for that kind of thing. It's just common sense. Now one or both of us is going to have to retake the test, probably. If it was your idea, I'm not going to retake the test to make up for it. He said, this isn't helping. I don't know what you expect me to do. Seems to me that this is your mess. We have to come up with something. I just can't tell her the truth. You're the one with all the brilliant ideas here. It wasn't, it wasn't even really my idea in the first place. What? Then whose was it? I got the test answers from Trevor. Trevor? Then blame him! I can't just blame him for it. Why not? Do you want to retake the test? I don't. No, he's not even in trouble. Mrs. Martin didn't mention him to me. Trevor's always in trouble for something. What does one more thing matter? I guess so. It just doesn't seem right. Look, you know he'll take the blame for you, so why not do it? That doesn't make any sense. Why do you think he gave you the answers? I suppose he knows I'm not very good at maths. Really? How sweet of him. Do you know something I don't? Apparently. Look, does it even matter why he did it? What are we going to do? I mean, Trevor obviously has a crush on her, but... What are you going to do, you mean? Blame Trevor. All right, all right, I'll tell Mrs. Martin that it was Trevor's fault. Good. Why should we get into trouble, you know, for it, uh, you know, if we don't have to? Yeah, I guess you're right. Trevor does make trouble for himself. Just don't make a big deal about it. I don't want to get called in to talk to Mrs. Martin, too. Maybe I should talk to Trevor about this before I go back to Mrs. Martin. Just don't do anything stupid, okay? He's our easy way out of this. Yeah, all right. We'll see. The situation with the test is a mess. Catherine's too stubborn to ever admit to doing something wrong. Somehow she always manages to turn it around on someone else. Yeah, Catherine is not such a good person. Hey there, Keith. Hi again, what's up? Uh, so, about the... Her... I'm not going to talk about Anne. Uh, she asked me to not to. I want to respect that. So, I had that test. Oh yeah, the maths one. I remember you were worried about it. How did that go? Not so great. Oh man, that sucks. Uh, still, look on the bright side. 
If you keep retaking it, you'll eventually get the answers right. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. I feel very reassured. Hey, I've been told I'm a very reassuring person. I have a way with words. Is that so? Good luck on your retake. I don't know if I have to retake it. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Did you hear about this missing notes thing yet? What thing? Anne, she's lost some of her notes from class. That sucks. Why do you mention it? Did she want me to help out or something? No, I mean, she didn't ask. Then what? Are you asking me if I did something with her notes? No, not at all. I know you wouldn't do that. Anne seems like a nice girl. I don't know why someone would mess with her. She gets teased a bit in our class. She takes everything so seriously. That doesn't seem fair. She's always friendly with me. Well, nobody really likes talking to her all that much. But I do. Really? Yeah, she's an interesting girl. It's a bit of a shame we're not in the same class. I don't get to talk with her much. Thanks anyway, I guess. I never thought Keith would be interested in a girl like Anne. I guess it explains some things. Nice talking, Keith. Yeah, catch you later. Man, no, well, there you go. No wonder Anne was asking about Keith. Oh, hey, Trevor. This is gonna be, uh, rather awkward. Hey, again? Hey. About that maths test I had. Oh, yeah, did it all go okay? Not really. What happened? You got caught with the answers? Somebody else got me caught. Somebody else? Nobody else knew about it. I gave the answers to Catherine, too. Why would you do that? I, I don't know, I just wanted her to do well on the test, too. Who cares if Catherine does well? I thought you needed those answers so that you could pass the test. I did! I didn't get the answers for Catherine, I got them for you. I, I know, and I'm grateful, but Catherine needed help too. Well, she might just have gotten us all in trouble now. What are you gonna do? I have to talk to Mrs. Martin about it. Oh man, that's bad. I know, I'll come up with something, okay? What do you think I should say to Mrs. Martin? Don't tell her that I got you the answers to the test, whatever you do. I'm sorry, I might have to. Seriously, I really don't need to get into any more trouble this term. I know, but it's just really difficult. I wanted to pass that test, not get into trouble over it. You promised me you'd be really careful to not get into trouble when I gave you those answers. I did! I'll do my best, okay? Maybe Trevor was only trying to help out, but he was the one who did the most wrong here. I guess I should go. Okay. See you later, maybe. Sure. Maybe. Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm fairly confident that the one who did the most wrong here... Well, I don't know. It's probably you. It could be Catherine, depending on how you look at it, though. In any case, Catherine seems like a much worse person than Trevor. <laughs> Hello, uh, Mrs. Martin. Hello again. Did you speak to Catherine? Yes, I did. And do you have something to tell me? It's complicated. I've got all day. It was me. I did it. I'm sorry, Mrs. Martin. You copied Catherine's answers. I did. It wasn't her fault, I swear. This isn't like you. Come on, we've talked about this. What really happened? I just told you what happened. Well, if this is the story you're going to stick to, I'll have no choice but to ask you to retake the test. I'll retake it. I just don't want anyone else in trouble for what I did. I'll be having a word with your mother, too. Do you have to? It's school policy. I'm disappointed. I really am. I'm sorry. I won't do it again, I promise. Alright. See that you study hard for the retake and we can put this all behind us. 
My friendship with Trevor and Catherine is more important than having to retake some stupid test. I only bend the truth for their sake, but I wish this didn't have to get back to my mum. Well, and you shouldn't have done it. Simple. That's the thing about young people. They, you know, they say that you, they have like sort of impaired uh, decision-making skills in comparison with older people because that part of their brain isn't developed yet, or fully developed anyway. Hi again, Anne. Oh, hey. So about these notes I've heard are missing. What happened to your notes? Someone changed them all around, and pages are missing. Oh, didn't the same thing happen last week? I have them all color-coded. I know when someone's been messing with them. Color-coded? Really? Yeah. Anything red is for the test. Yellow is stuff I've looked up on my own, and blue is stuff for the topic we're currently studying. Why are these our only two options? I mean, I think it's kind of obsessive, but you know, it's, she's not hurting anybody color-coding her notes, but fine, I will be dubious. That's... a lot of extra work. You think? It's very useful. But I can't do anything with them if they're in the wrong order. Can't you just use the textbook? The textbook doesn't cover everything. It's more of a guide. Don't you take notes? Nope. I usually just read the chapters we've already done in class before a test. Anyway, I know someone's been messing with my folders. Do you think it's the same one who did it before? Trevor always pokes fun at me when I'm organizing my notes in the library. It was probably him. You'll find them somewhere. Uh, Trevor wouldn't do anything bad to them. You would say that. You always take Trevor's side. I don't. I've really got to sort these out before class, sorry. It's terrible that everyone treats Anne so badly. It's why you shouldn't stand out at school. People don't like it. In my experience, standing out was more, um... Not so much people not liking it, as people just kind of not talking to you, or interacting with you. Well... Hey, Catherine. What is it? No, it's not what I meant to select! I'm just kind of wondering what I... Well, I guess we just gotta be a jerk. Anne was. Why would she care? I don't know. She wanted to know if she'd said anything about her. I don't know why he'd have anything at all to say about her. She didn't really say what it was about. Does she like him or something? That would be pretty hilarious. I, I don't know. Maybe. Ha! This is perfect! Perfect? I thought you'd be mad. Mad? I'm not worried about Anne of all people. You were all concerned when I was talking to him the other day. That's different. I didn't want you getting your hopes up about Keith. So I can't even talk to him? I don't want a repeat of the Matt incident. You know I liked him, and you went out with him anyway. Yeah, exactly. Look, this is the perfect opportunity to have some fun with Anne. I don't think we should mess with her about this. Don't wimp out. Why don't you do it yourself? As if she'd believe me. That's your own fault. Look, I don't care what you say to her, just make something up. As usual, Catherine wanted me to mess with Anne, instead of doing her own dirty work. Usually it's all good fun, but occasionally she can be really mean. See you later, Catherine. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so I'm beginning to see the problem with this. Our character is like a jerk, and we don't really have any agency over whether she is not a jerk, or tries to be a jerk in a slightly different way. And that's not a good feeling. I mean, don't get me wrong, sometimes with, with, with games the point is you don't have a choice, and you can't completely control the protagonist in a narrative-driven game, but it just feels somehow awkward here. Hi again, Anne. Oh, hey. I should go. See you later. Yeah, what am I doing? Forget it, why the heck would I have gone to talk to... Yes, yeah, yeah, screw it, screw Catherine, why are we friends with her? She's not displayed a single redeeming quality so far. Hey again. Hey. 
Catherine was saying some weird stuff earlier. What's new? I mean, she keeps mentioning you to me. Like there's something going on I don't know about. There's nothing going on. I don't know why she has to keep getting involved in everyone's business. Are you sure you haven't said anything to her? Of course I haven't! Who do you trust, her or me? Well, even though you're the kind of guy who, you know, plots out elaborate schemes to cheat on tests, you, but by far. You're always honest with me. Look, don't worry about Catherine. She's just stirring things up, as always. It's not that she said anything bad. Whatever it is she said, you know, just forget I mentioned it. Way to make me paranoid. Maybe Catherine's right about Trevor, but I don't want to deal with it at the moment. I've got enough problems already. Hey, you didn't do anything to Anne's geography notes, did you? Not this again. Everyone always assumes it was me. Well, it's not like you don't have a history of being behind this stuff. Look, I stopped playing tricks on Anne when her father called mine. That really happened? It sure did. It's just not worth it now. So it wasn't you then. Didn't I just say that? W what he sure wasn't your little friend Catherine? I was just checking. I'm not behind everything that happens around here. I, I guess I should go. Okay. See you later, maybe. Sure. Maybe. Oh dear. Can we, can we... Well, there's nothing in there even. Can we go warn Anne about Catherine? Hi again, Anne? No, no, we can't. Can we... Oh, we can ask about our notes again. That she didn't get them all back. Where, where were they? Someone put them on top of the lockers. I think some of them fell behind though. I can't reach them. You could ask someone to help you get them out. It's okay. I think I'll just rewrite those notes. I, th I thought you said you didn't have time to rewrite your notes. I don't want to bother anyone to move the lockers. It's fine. It's only a few of them. If you say so. I should go. See you later. Ah, uh, jeez. Can we retake our test now? Oh. Yes, I did. And? Do you have something to tell me? I'll come back later. What? Oh, are we not even allowed to tell her that we... Uh, wait, I mean, isn't that already resolved? Have we already been clear that we did it and we're taking the blame for it? What is it? Yeah, the only person left to talk to is Keith. So, Keith, what's going on? Hey there, Keith. Hi again. What's up? I, I suppose this is the only thing we're allowed to talk about. So, about Anne. What about her? Well, it's just... What is it? The issue with these options is they don't tell me what exactly we're going to say. There are a lot of things we could tell them about Catherine, and a lot of things we could tell them about Anne. Alternatively, it could mean that if we select Catherine, we'll tell him something in favor of Catherine, or if we select Anne, we'll tell him something in favor of Anne, or it could mean the opposite. It could mean we tell him, like, hey, you know, Anne is bad, or hey, Catherine is bad. I, I, I don't know what they mean. The, the one word is not enough of an interface, and don't get me wrong, it's pretty stylish the way it's like a, looks like marker on a, on a note card. I, I think that's a nice touch, but... Really, I dig all these aesthetics. I think they're... I like the way it's drawn. But... What are we spo... But there's not enough information here. A lot of games have this problem. Like like Fallout 4, for example. Or, or really, a lot of games will give you a little... A few words, and it's not clear enough what the dialogue is, and you don't know what's gonna happen when you choose it. I, I'm gonna assume, though, that it's a positive. That if we say Anne, we'll tell them something good about Anne or something. I, I, I guess. I think maybe you should get to know her more. Why do you say that? It's just a hunch. I think you two would get on really well. Well, thanks for the advice. But why are you telling me this? Did she say something? Not really. It was... it's just a suggestion, honestly. Look, I know you and Catherine are in this together. 
Trust me, she hasn't put me up to this. She'd be mad if she knew I'd said anything at all. Why? Catherine can be mean when she doesn't get what she wants. You think she'd take it out on Anne? I don't know. Probably. You know what she's like. You're really putting me between a rock and a hard place here. I had to say something. J just talk to Anne, please. You obviously want to. I will. Thanks for what it's worth. Catherine has a mean streak, and Anne is a prime target for it. Especially if she and Keith got together. But I know telling him how Anne felt was the right thing to do. Well, it's good that you for once did, did the right thing. Wait, whoa, 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 there go the pages of the journal. You know, anything new, Anne? Hi again, Anne. I thought you should know I spoke to Keith. You did? Why? You didn't tell him I was asking about him earlier, did you? Don't worry. I, d I didn't tell him anything you asked. Are you sure? Why did you have to go and talk to him? Don't you want to know what he said? Of course I do. I just didn't think you'd, you'd go and talk to him outright. I was only curious. Hey, forget it, I don't care about Catherine. He's a really nice guy, you know. Yeah, I can tell. He's always friendly to me. He's friendly with everyone. I don't think there's anyone in school who doesn't like him. What has this got to do with me? I'm, I'm just saying, you could do worse. Do you think I have a chance? Would it change anything if I said yes? I don't know. I'm not sure what to think now. Are you still worried about Catherine? I thought she'd made sure that no boys in our class would ever talk to me. She told me as much. I, I Pardon my language, Catherine's real bitch. I know she's my friend, but you can't spend your whole life being afraid of what Catherine will think. I guess not. Thanks, anyway. You've given me a lot to think about. It felt good to encourage Anne, even if Catherine would be furious about it. I hope she makes a decision she's happy with. You see, an issue here is, once again, with, um, with Catherine's character. And you see this come up sometimes in stories. You can't have a character who's supposed to be our main character's friend, but then our main character has no reason to like them, and their personalities seem totally unmatched, and there doesn't seem to be any reason they would be friends at all or even get along. It's just, it's just, just kind of awkward. Did you speak to your teacher, hun? Yeah, I did. Oh, good. Mrs. Martin wanted to talk to me about the maths test I took the other day. Is everything okay? Actually, I might be in a bit of trouble. Oh, honey, I thought we talked about this. You promised you were going to do your best. I am, I really am. You know I'm always on your side, sweetie. Do I need to talk to anyone for you? No, it's okay. I don't want to have to go to another meeting at school. All right. I hate teacher-parent meetings. I don't like sitting there quietly while they talk about me. It's so humiliating. That's a thing? I don't think I ever had... Well, I, I definitely had meetings between my teachers and my parents, but I never attended them. There were meetings between my teachers and my parents, not, not between... Uh, not, not with me and, and my teachers and my parents. So I see, the structure of this game is she obtains pieces of herself that perhaps she would rather not have known, these sort of negative sides of herself, and when she does, she is able to suddenly see the truth in her journal in the form of these sort of metaphorical silhouette shows. The Lion and the Chicken Mallory had worked the carnival's coconut shy for nearly five years. He didn't like to talk about his own life, but he loved being part of the Great Carnival. He always took his lunch in the big top. He liked to watch the tightrope walkers and dreamed of one day being up there himself. One evening, the lion came to him in his dreams. He knew of Mallory's desire to be up there in the spotlight and offered a deal. Bring me one of the circus master's prized chickens and I will help you get what you want. Mallory felt bad about stealing the chicken. He knew how much the circus master loved them. Yet he could not pass up this chance. 
He slept uneasy that night with the knowledge of the blood in his hands. In his dreams, he sought out the lion to return the favour. The lion regarded Mallory with disdain and told him he was merely a lion and could not help him reach the heights of the tightrope. Mallory demanded to know why he had lied to him. The lion told him it was not his fault. His instincts drove him to eat and he would have promised Mallory anything to satisfy himself. No one ever confronted Mallory over the chicken, but he was sure they all knew. He never felt happy there again. So I got one... I'm not quite sure how that one relates to the events that just unfolded. But very well. Very well. 